Hey, and we're back. Welcome to another episode of Embrace the Suck. Chest style. Sporgasm style. Um, yeah, this is a series where I play some Blitz games and try to learn to embrace the massive amount of suckage that a middle-aged bum like me um, engages in. So without further ado, let's just get right into it. Searching always for higher rated opponents to see them just hand me a new one. I got my two bite brownies. I'm eating on vid. That's happening. Okay, we got some Carol Khan advanced action. And he seems pretty confident. Playing fast. Pin the knight. He might go there. So it's at this point. I think we're going to take. This is his best option. And then I'm gonna go there. And then I'm gonna go there. He'll either go here or there. If he pins, I'll probably go there. Targeting this and this. Okay, the challenge. In this, I think we just take. And then we'll go here, he'll go here, but you never take this bishop unless forced. So now we develop. Rook here before castling, ideally, sometimes, depending. That's an interesting move. I don't understand. Well, since the pin's here, we'll just castle. This is always a useful move. Yeah, he'll plant there. If he plants there, I'll take this. If I go here, his queen is trapped. Almost. Yeah, his queen is trapped. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Almost trapped. Well, that sucks. Okay, let's see if we can trap it. I thought it was trapped. I don't know what I was thinking. Ugh. <laughs> Embrace the suck. Okay, we're gonna... If I go here, he's gonna take and then my knight hangs. 
My night hangs right now. I got a sneaky little tactic here. I'll win back a pawn. If he takes this, I'm gonna take this because I can recapture with the knight. And if he tries to go for something else, I always have the get out of jail free check. So he won a pawn. And I won it back. All right. Since he's got a light square bishop, we gotta start putting all our pawns on light square or on dark squares. I can sneak in here if need be, if he tries to go here. I'm gonna trap his bishop.
Going after some pawns. A little dicey. Take the free gift. He wants to promote, eh? And the pawn that's actually going to make it is this pawn. This pawn's probably going to get taken. I'm not sure why he gave me away his light square bishop. Must have been a blunder. He, he, I think he purposefully did it though. He seemed... This was the moment the mouse decided... Oh, no! No. I was trying to do a take back. I was going to give him a take back. Okay. Well... That was decent. Game two. Let's play a Jabava. I want to face a King's Indian. Yeah, so we trick them with the move order because it sets up a trap I've named. <laughs> I hope we get it. So if he goes here, this is the move order. Okay, now watch this. I hope he falls for it. On stream that or on vid, that'd be awesome. Trade queens.
I've nailed people with this trap so many times, but usually they move the knight there to attack this. I've never seen it here. The only downside to this is if he defends it, which he did, so we can pick up a free piece. But I could still discover check him here and get the rook. So which one do we want? I don't know. Oh, well, how about we... If I go... I say we take the rook. Okay, now this is a little soft. We could also just go here. that. You might go here. Hmm. He has no real good moves here. Now we gotta cut off all his escape squares. I'm gonna mate him in the middle of the board. I'm getting greedy. I mean, I could have just taken it and took the piece. Or rather, took the piece, but. I've got something better. His king's in the middle of the board. I smell blood. <laughs> so, if I go here. He has to go back. But what if... Wait. So we'll go here. We'll send him back. Then we'll go here. Then we'll come back. Oh, we can't do that. Oh, wait.
But I think we're setting up a mate. No, we're not. He's just in, like, a world of trouble right now. Wild game. <laughs> Poor guy. Um... Yeah, that trap. I'll go to the analysis board. Curious about this game. Oh, look at the mistakes start racking up. Eighty-eight percent accuracy. Shmeh for five plus three blitz. Anyway, um. Yeah, you trick them with the move order. And then generally, he takes, I take, he takes, I take, he goes here, and then you pull this off. And if he takes, check, mate. I can't tell you how many times I've got that. But in this game... He decided not to trade queens, which then let me do it anyway, and I did went for it again. And he brought his king out into the open, and I had options of discovered checks on the knight. And maybe that would have been better, but I mean, I bullied him around pretty hardcore. So yeah, that was an interesting one. Game number three. Let's see if we can go three for three. All right, let's play another Jababa. It's funny, I have Zen mode activated on my phone, but I just realized I don't have it activated on my PC. Okay, do we get another one? Let's, let's fool the move order. Okay, so he's not playing that. We're back into standard Jabava London. Yeah. Immediate attack here. Now, best move is here, and then here, here, here. Oh, okay. So now, we just kind of play as per normal. Take with the knight. <laughs> I 
I don't think he realized that I had two pieces on it. I kind of want to... If I bring my bishop back, he might go for it. Which would be annoying. Like, super annoying. But I obviously can't leave it there. What if I bait him and get my knight planted there? Can never be removed. I've never played it like that. Why not? If he pins me, that would be annoying. Yeah. There's a nice little fork coming. Oh, nice. Interesting. That was a nice little move. I'll take it. Can't castle. So then I'm going to drive the queen out and then take. Or castle. Should have castled before. If I take and he checks, I take, I'll, I'll give up the queen for two rooks. I'm willing to try it. Okay, well he didn't go for that. So first, we give ourselves a little escape square.
Oh! Oh my god! Okay, so... How can I be so fucking stupid? Like... This is for you, Scott. If you can't see how I am exceptionally the exceptional fucktard, I don't know what else to tell you, bud. The fact that I couldn't even see that my queen was under attack. The whole... I, I sat there for over a couple minutes. A minute. Looking at that. What a fucking loser does that? Holy fuck, I'm a piece of shit. When you guys can show me that you do that every other game, then we can talk. Until then, no one knows what it's like to be a fucktard like me. <laughs> Embrace the suck is a lot more easier said than done when you don't have exceptional levels of f-tardism, I call it. Ugh. <laughs> that was horrendous. Like... I have no words. I'm a loser. <laughs> and I'm going to go uh, hate myself for the rest of the night. And until next time, um, if there is a next time, cheers.